In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If your lips confess that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. When Scripture says, Those who believe in him will have no cause for shame, it makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. All belong to the same Lord, who is rich enough, however many ask his help, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But they will not ask his help unless they believe in him, and they will not believe in him unless they have heard of him, and they will not hear of him unless they get a preacher, and they will never have a preacher unless one is sent. But as Scripture says, the footsteps of those who bring good news are a welcome sound. Not everyone, of course, listens to the good news. As Isaiah says, Lord, how many believed what we proclaimed? So, faith comes from what is preached, and what is preached comes from the word of Christ. Let me put the question. Is it possible that they did not hear? Indeed, they did. In the words of the psalm, their voice has gone out through all the earth, and their message to the ends of the world. The Word of the Lord Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Their word goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia! Follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you into fishers of men. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. They were making a cast in the lake with their net, for they were fishermen. 
And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishes of men. And they left their nets at once and followed him. Going on from there, he saw another pair of brothers. James, son of Zebedee, and his brother, John. They were in their boat with their father, Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. At once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, they were casting their nets into the lake, for they were fishermen when Jesus found Peter and Andrew, he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishes of men. At once they left the nets and followed him. The reason why Jesus tells us these words is that the Heavenly Father has great concern for us. He invites us to commit our cause to God. We stand with Jesus, entrusting ourselves to Him as disciples. Jesus reassures us of our values in God's eyes and promises us that He will protect us. Jesus says, Follow me, and I will make you fishes of men. By the very fact of our living this faith openly and fully, we are apostles by example. If we are always truthful and faithful to our promises, if we are honest in our dealings, if we are ready to pay justly the dues to others, If we treat all human persons as our brothers and sisters, if we show respect towards others, we are true Christians. We have to be the light shining in darkness. and being the shining lamps in the world today. Witnessing to Jesus and following God's way also helps others in the crowd who are lacking courage to follow Jesus. Therefore, Jesus provides the remedy to overcome worry and distress. Having faith in his heavenly Father and sharing the cause of his worry in prayer with the Father. We see a change in Jesus during his prayer. 
he began praying, My soul is sorrowful even to death. But when he concluded, he prayed, Your will be done. That is what happens to us when we have faith in God and bring our anxieties to God in prayer. We should be transformed during prayer and receive strength from God to face what lies ahead. So, when there are problems, have faith and pray. It is no surprise, therefore, that we hear Jesus rebuking the disciples when they are afraid during the storm, because their faith is weak. Faith is a human response to the revealed Word of God. God reveals Himself continuously and he invites us to respond to him in faith. Let us keep our faith and our prayers. God bless you. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day, take care, and God bless you.